I'm Alyssa Sabatka for the Antelope TV. I'm here at the University at Nebraska at Kearney Fine Arts Building Recital Hall for the celebration of the college's 111th year celebration and the 25th anniversary of the college being part of the University of Nebraska. This event also kicks off the university's year of celebration. Today's the time to start our celebration about our inception. 111, 111 years ago, Kearney celebrated the groundbreaking event for the Kearney Normal School. More than a century later, UNK faculty, students, alumni, and community members gathered to celebrate another milestone. The event also included the sounds of the Spirit of KSN March, played by the UNK Wind Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Duane Bierman. The event proceeded in the UNK Calvin T. Library. Guests could browse a special exhibition, which included memorabilia curated by UNK Special Archives and Collections. I decided to come out today to attend the Chancellor's speech because I really wanted to learn more about the foundations of UNK and I was happy to see that some of the spirits of UNK that were there a hundred years ago are still here today. It's a very welcoming community that takes pride in its students. I heard a lot of information that I never heard before and uh, I'm glad the Chancellor is doing this series because it's very informative. Uh, my uh, Second great grandfather was one of the original faculty members here, so there's a lot of connection to UNK. He was the business in the business head of the business department, and uh, he wrote the uh, alma mater song. I think it's a nice celebration on behalf of the university. I've known Doug Christensen for a long period of time. I knew John Payne, who was instrumental in getting the Kearney State College to the university system. Plus, it's a beautiful day, and you can't beat that. And I think the library's done a nice job with this exhibit as well. I'm Alyssa Sabatka, reporting for the Antelope TV.